Mr. Hernandez, did you ever see Mr. Ellison make any of those signs? Yes. There are two discs in front of you. One is marked 800K, the other 802N. We will begin with 800K. Miss Harney, if he could just pull up the opening frame of 800K. 800K and 802N. Beginning with 800K, Mr. Hernandez, looking at the screen, have you seen this video before? Yes. On the disc on 800K, did you review this before you testified today? Yes. How do you know that? Because my initials are on it. What's depicted generally in 800K? Harv is on the far right. Generally, what is 800K? I'm sorry? What is 800K? Is it a video or a picture? It's a video. Your Honor, the government offers Government Exhibit 800K. Received. May we publish, Your Honor? You may. One moment, Your Honor. Your Honor, there is a little technical issue. We are going to pull up the original. Ms. Harney, could you please play 800K again? Mr. Hernandez, who is depicted in that video? Harb was on the far right. Chris Higator, the manager I previously testified about that I signed a management deal with, was in the middle, and I was on the left side with the red shirt on. Towards the end of the video, did you see Mr. Ellison hold up a sign? Yeah. What sign was that? It was a nine tray sign. Miss Harney, the next exhibit, if we can just show the witness the opening frame of 802N. Mr. Hernandez, prior to testifying, did you review the contents of 802N? Yes. What is 802N? It's a video of Harv. Your Honor, the government offers government exhibit 802N. Any objection? No objection. No objection. Received. May we publish? Yes. Mr. Hernandez, right there, the frame is paused at around seven seconds. Who is depicted in that video? Harv. What is he doing with his hands? That's the nine tray sign. Thank you, Miss Harney. We can take that down. Miss Harney, if we could show the witness what have been marked for identification as government exhibits 802A, 802B, 802D, and 802H. If we can show them just quickly for him, just to preview, and then we'll go from there. Mr. Hernandez, did you have a second look at those photos? Yes. Generally speaking, who is depicted in those photos? The one I'm looking at right now on your left side, you have Billy Otto. On your right side, you have Harv. Looking at all the videos, the individuals that you have testified about today, are they depicted in those photographs? Yes, and more. Your Honor, the government offers government exhibits 802A, 802B, 802D, and 802H. Any objection? No objection. No objection. Received. Turn to 802A, Miss Harney. If we can zoom in, Miss Harney, on the middle of the picture down. Mr. Hernandez, if you can go through and identify some of the individuals who are in this photograph, beginning on the left side of the photograph and then working to the right. I don't know the guy in the LA hat. The yellow sweater is Fleazy Bambino and the white tank top you have Harv. Two people over from Harv to the right you have Shoddy. Right under Shoddy and Harv you have Seiko Billy. What is Seiko Billy wearing? A black, I want to say off-white sweatshirt. It's a brand called Off-White, but it's all black with the white thing on the arm. Who is in front of Seiko Billy? On the bottom left of the picture under Seiko is Nuke, and on his right side is Mel Murda. Is who? Mel Murda. What is Mel Murda wearing? Mel Murda is wearing a red shirt with red Cincinnati Reds baseball cap. Who is Mel Murda? Mel Murda is the godfather. Godfather for the Nine Trade Bloods. Miss Harney, can we turn to Government Exhibit 802B? Can we publish that, please? Yes. Mr. Hernandez, directing your attention to the middle of the picture, who is the individual wearing the red hat and the white tank top? Harv. What is Harv doing? Harv is covering his face with the Nine Trade sign. Miss Harney, can we please pull up Government Exhibit 802D? Your Honor, may we publish? Yes. Mr. Hernandez, what's depicted in 802D? It's a picture of Harv with a red flag around his neck. I want to assume he is making the nine tray sign, but it's cut off the top of it. Objection to the assumption. Mr. Longyear, why don't you follow up with the basis for the assumption? Mr. Hernandez, why are you assuming that he's making a nine tray sign? 
because I previously testified that the nine trace sign is like this, and if you see the bottom of the photo, it's making a nine, but you can't see the, the photo is cut off, so you can't see the top of his hand. I'll overrule the objection. Go ahead. Miss Harney, if we can pull up 802H. Who is depicted in 802H? On the left, you have Billy Otto, and on the right, you have Harv. Miss Harney, show the witness what has been marked as Government Exhibit 501P. Mr. Hernandez, do you recognize 501P? Yes. What's depicted in 501P? It's a picture of me and Nuke. Your Honor, the government offers Government Exhibit 501P. Any objection? No objection. Received. May we publish? Yes. Mr. Hernandez, what's depicted in Government Exhibit 501P? I'm on the right side with the bright blue jacket throwing up the nine tray, and Nuke is with the red sweater, red hat, throwing up the nine tray to the left. Thank you, Miss Harney. We can take down 501P. Turning back to nine tray, Mr. Hernandez, did nine tray have a leadership structure? Yes. Generally speaking, how was nine tray organized? From my understanding, being a part of nine tray, I knew there was a street lineup and a prison lineup. Beginning with the prison lineup, did you have an understanding of how the prison lineup was structured? I didn't really understand who was on top of who, but I knew there was a lineup and they were the ones who sanctioned most. Objection. He said he wasn't sure. I said my understanding. I think he said his understanding. Overruled. My understanding with the prison lineup was that there were the higher ups there who you had to report to to get anything sanctioned on the street. Sanctioned meaning that if it was a go or a no go. Taking a step back with the prison lineup and the street lineup, which one of those two lineups had authority over the other? Prison lineup was more powerful than the street lineup. And who did you understand were the leaders of the prison lineup? I spoke to two guys, I believe Frank White, Magoo. That was Frank White and Magoo? Yeah, and Shadi used to visit some other guy. What authority, if any, did you understand that those individuals had over others in Nine Trey? They could make, they could say who is blood, meaning who was a member of blood or not, who was, who had ranking and who didn't, and stuff like that. Ranking within nine tray? Yeah. Now, turning to the street lineup, did you have an understanding as to whether or not the street lineup had a leadership structure? Yeah. Were there ranks? Yeah. Going from the top down, could you explain to the jury what the ranks were in the street lineup? I'm sorry, say that one more time. Can you explain to the jury, not asking for individuals, but just what the ranks were from the top down on the street lineup? Yeah, there was a godfather who overruled, like, was at the top. Then you had your high O20 that was under the godfather, and you got your low O20. Godfather, and then high O20 and low O20? Yeah. What was under the low O20? Your generals, your five stars, and then you have just the ranking, your five star, four star, three star, two star. And the stars refer to the generals? Yeah. A five-star general, a four-star general, and so on? Yeah. Mr. Hernandez, at the time that you joined Nine Trey in November of 2017, what was your understanding of who occupied those leadership positions in the street lineup? When I became a Nine Trey member, I learned that Mal Murder was the godfather for the murder line, the murder line lineup. Lineup, it's a lineup of, you know, certain members. There's different lineups, is what I'm trying to say. From my understanding, Mal Murder was the top, which was the godfather of the lineup I fell under. Right after, right under Mal Murder, you had Shadi, who was the high O20. You had Harv, who was the low O20, and you have your five stars like Seiko Billy. Yeah, stuff like that. Were there any other five stars at the time you joined? Billy Otto. Did you know any four stars? No, I think Guns was a three-star, but I don't want to, you know, say he was a three-star and he was a four. Mr. Longyear, I'm looking for a stopping point. Let me know when you're at one. One or two more questions, and that will be enough for the day, Your Honor. Mr. Hernandez, how did one achieve a higher rank within the gang? Say the question one more time. How did one go from a lower rank to a higher rank in the gang? Seniority, I would say, like the work you put in for the gang. Work meaning, you know, the crimes and stuff like that. If you put in more work, you could achieve a higher rank. Yeah, also I think the main thing was, 
Shadi's main thing was taking care of the people behind the wall. He gave you that rank. You know what I'm saying? He always told me if you take care of them, they will take care of us. You just used the phrase behind the wall. What does that mean? Behind the prison wall. Take care of people in the prison lineup? Yeah. One moment, Your Honor. Your Honor, I think now would be a natural breaking point. Very good. I'll ask the marshals kindly to remove the witness. Thank you.